Hello, my friends. Today, I'm so excited to introduce to you this um, Photoshop plugin. I think this is the best AI skin retouching plugin for Photoshop. You can get images from this to this with just a couple of simple clicks. And the best part about it is that you do not need to have pretty much any knowledge about Photoshop or how to do frequency separation or any of that fancy retouching. And it takes really seconds, like no time at all. Usually an edit like this, it will take you hours to go through every single spot and retouch all the skin pores. And this is just done in seconds, as you will see in a second. This plugin, it's called Retouch for me. And uh, you can buy it. If you use my link in the description below, you will get 20% uh, discount. So please use that link if you want to get a discount, but let's get right into it. I'm going to reset this image. We'll take a few examples and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. So this is my original image. The first thing I would like to do is to duplicate it. So command J to duplicate your image. That way we have a reference image so we can see how far we went with this edit. Now with the this layer selected, I am going to go into filter and here I am going to choose retouch for me. Now retouch for me, they have a ton of plugins. They're all amazing. And I only have two of them for testing. So this is the two I will be reviewing in this video. Let's start with the healing process. So I'm going to go with retouch for me heal. I'm just going to click on it and then a window dialog will pop up. Let me make it larger so you can see more clear. And uh, here we have the image I already applied the heel. If you want to see the original, go over here, click on the original and you will see the before. And then as I let go, we'll see the after before and after. Now you have a slider here that says sensitivity, and this is not an opacity slider. This is how sensitive the program is of picking up blemishes and skin imperfections and so on. If I go to zero, sensitivity zero, it doesn't pick up anything. We can see all the blemishes and skin imperfections. As I drag it to the right, you see the screen is red. And then with white, we will see dots as it discovers blemishes. You see now we have just a few of them, then more and more appear. And you can make this as sensitive as you want and pick up as many blemishes as you want. So there you go. I picked up all the blemishes. I went all the way to sensitivity 100. Then on the left side, you have, like I showed you before, the original tab where you click on it to see your original photos. Then here you can pan and zoom using this button. You have a brush, you have an erase, and you know also you can invert the mask. But really, I don't use those buttons at all. I will just apply my um, setting here, and then I can use a mask and Photoshop layer and go from there. Now, another thing you want to have clicked here is this make mask, and I will show you why in a second. So we are happy with our edit here. Just click apply. And this is really quick. I'm going to show you in real time. You see, it took no time at all. And watch what happens if I turn off my background layer. This is all those blemishes on a single layer. This would have taken us like an hour or two just to go through every single blemish and try to clone that or use the healing brush or, you know, whatever method you would have chose. This is so much faster. So if I turn this layer on and off, this is the before, this is the after. This is the before, this is the after. Now, if you so happen that maybe you picked something that was supposed to be a you know bird mark or something that you want to keep, you can always make a mask and then with the black brush, go and paint over and, you know, remove that part that you want to keep. So we removed those imperfections. Now let's go into dodging and burning because for every portrait, you want to do some sort of dodge and burn. If you are not familiar with dodge and burn, that is usually made on a gray layer. And what you want to do, you want to lighter, lighten the darker parts and darken some of the lighter parts to just kind of give a uniform skin tone and make everything look high end and beautiful. But before I do that, let me just zoom in and here I want to show you something. This program, it's so different than any other program I've seen, because if I turn this on and off, you will see it removes the blemishes, but the skin texture stays the same. So it doesn't apply a blur as, uh, you know, Luminar Neo or other programs will do where you just like kind of blurs the image and blends the colors together. 
this is truly frequency separation quality. This is really, really amazing. You can see all the pores, all the skin texture, but the imperfections are gone. So I'm going to zoom out again. And now let's make a stamp layer. To make a stamp layer, it's a Command, Option, Shift, and E. And if you're not familiar with stamp layer, stamp layer is basically just a picture of everything we've done underneath. So you could have like, you know, 50 layers down below. And when you make this stamp layer, just a picture of everything. So I can turn off all the layer below and my image will stay the same because it's just a picture of everything we've done so far. So with this stamp layer now, I'll go back into my filters and I'll go to retouch for me. And this time we will choose dodge and burn. So as you can see, the program is so quick. There's the progress bar. I have not cut this in post. This is in real time. I'm going to make the image larger so we can see. Now on the top, we have a slider that is called blend. If you go to the all the way to the left, pretty much the effect, it's not applied to the image. The more you go to the right, the more the effect is applied. Now 200, it's a lot. It made a huge difference. Let's see the original. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Now you can totally leave it at 200. There's nothing wrong with that. It looks very, very nice. I usually like to keep mine between 120 and 140. That's kind of my own preference. And then, you know, you, you still have all your tools on the left if you choose to use them. You also have some warmed slider here. I've never really messed around with the worm slider, but I do like the blend. I use that one in every one of my edits. And then you want to check in soft light layer. So we'll check that one out and we'll go to apply. Now we give the we are given the gray layer and this is just showing us what has done in the background. You see all that dodging and burning? That is so detailed. We basically could have not done this by ourselves. It's very, very nicely done. And now you need to change this layer, the blending mode from normal to soft light. And if I click it on and off, this is our before, this is the after. You see how uniform the skin tone is now. We don't have those peaks and valleys of dark and light where you can see kind of like, you know, tiredness and blotchiness. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. I am going to zoom in. Let's zoom into 100% so we can get a really close up look. You see the texture is just amazing. And then I'm going to go all the way from the beginning. This is our original image. You can see some blotchiness on the skin. You can see skin imperfections. And this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. This is just amazing. And I know some people are against AI, but I'll tell you what, it's taking over the world. So you better get used to it and embrace it because it will save your time on editing by, you know, a lot. 90% of the time when it comes to portraits, you can save with this plugin. Let's take another example. So I'm going to, this is the image after I've done it. This is the before, this is the after. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to delete these two layers and we'll do it all from the beginning and then i'm also going to show you how it works with multiple people so again we'll do just like before command j to duplicate our layer then we'll go to filter retouch for me and heal and it's working really really quick there you go i'm gonna leave sensitivity to 100 and i'm just going to click apply this time I'm going to go a lot quicker through it, just so you can see how quick you can edit your portrait. So this is the before, this is the after. Look at all the little imperfections that took over from here. This is the before, this is the after. I'm going to zoom in at 100%. And this is the before, this is the after. All the little imperfections here on the cheek and around the mouth, before and after. Now let's make that stamp layer again, Command, Option, Shift and E. And now we'll go to filter, uh, retouch for me, dodge and burn. And like before, I'm gonna leave it blend 137. That seems to work for every image between 120 and 140, like I said. I'm just going to click apply. And then there's my gray layer with dodge and burn. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light. 
So this is my Dutch and Burn. This is the before. This is the after. You see how much more uniform the skin tone it is? This is the before. This is the after. And we have no blurriness. Everything is still intact, all the texture. So now let's see from the beginning. This is our original image and this is after retouch for me. This is our original. This is after retouch for me. I'm going to do one last example to see how this works with a group of people. Because sometimes, you know, you're editing families or, you know, couples and whatever. So just like before, I'm going to do Command J to duplicate my image. I'm going to go to Filter, Retouch for me, and we'll apply our Retouch for me heel. And now if I use this sensitivity, I'm just going to use it to see. You see, it shows the blemishes from both people on the image. So it detects if it's more than one person. I'm going to click apply and then there you go. This is our before and after, before and after. And let's zoom in more on their faces so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to move it downwards like here. This is our before, this is the after. Great. I'm going to make my stamp layer, command option shift and E. And then I'm going to go to filter, retouch for me and dodge and burn. And just like before, I'm going to leave my settings that I had previously because this works so well for every single image. And I'm going to click apply. There's our gray image. You see it dodged and burned bo both people. I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to soft light. And this is the dodge and burn before and after, before and after. And our whole image, this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Amazing, amazing result. I completely recommend this plugin. I think it will change the way you edit portraits forever. And please don't forget to use the link in the description below for 20% off. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.